Don't blink, it's your boy Ink with some nice ploof. Uh, not sure if I pronounced it correctly. Welcome to another Mark Ben. Okay, they're doing well. I'm having a fantastic day. We have electricity today, so um, we're on a roll. So again, we have ploof, which we had a couple times on the channel right now. This is the last of it, unfortunately, thankfully, because it's about a week old. And if it is just... So again, we got um, Mamaliga. We got Mamaliga, which is cornstarch with eggs and oil, I believe. We have pork, macerated, macerated pork with some rub. We got some amazing omelette. I know this is a lot, but this is my only meal of the day. Besides, nobody never did anything eating a happy meal. Shout out to uh, Lofi. What is it? What is it, Beat? Okay, it's not there. It's not there. Um, I was going to shout out the playlist, but since it's not playing, a fucking playlist, bro. <laughs> uh, broken plate. Right? Sorry, ma. This is my mom's plate. She's going to be pissed, but hey, that's life. Um, so, yeah. So, before we even start, I got a couple of shout outs. Ooh. Ooh. It's morning right now. We wake up about 40 minutes ago. Right? Uh, we have work in three hours. Meaning we overslept. Which is a good thing, I guess. Uh, we have Java 300. Not my favorite Monster Energy, but we need something to start the day. And the coffee will bless it anyway. China Ram, did it work? Maybe not, maybe yes. Shout out to DZ95, who is going to create a channel soon. But behind the scene, does so much for me. Um, yesterday, he saw the... Uh, oh, and, and I also have added some apologies, but for once in my... Fucking life. Let's have some. Uh... So sometimes I cringe, like when I'm when I'm when I'm mm. I'm saying this, I'm laughing. In ten years, I'm gonna be like, oh fuck. But I don't care about ten years. I care about now, you know. And um, let's focus on what we have to say. Uh, we have to f thank also Soul Seven Seven Seven. Um, both people were actually worried slash. Um, reacted in a favorable manner to me, to my video, um, of my security. My, my security was me being vulnerable. So, of course, when people are coming in behind the scene and tell me, hey, um, it's going to be okay, or hey, like, DZ wrote me a paragraph, dude, saying how much he appreciate me, how much he shared some of those insecurities, how much it's important to focus on why we're being insecure and improving. There's so many. I would read to you, but I don't read DMs. Mm. A week later, shit is good. And, you know, Jesse was talking about how I was an inspiration for him. And I was like, this is amazing. Because, yes. And, I, what I'm going to say now is not me trying to back out. It's not me trying to Go back to what I said. I made a video yesterday on my insecurities. Which is one thing. Now, I think in this video, I meant everything in this video, of course, was a present feeling, but... What you guys have to understand is, um, I live alone. Again, like I said yesterday, right? Hmm. My question is napkin. Okay. You think I learned? What? We live in a society where it's so over focused, over stimulated. You always have music, you always have TV, you always have a show to watch. This is something I do. Every time I got a mark by on, I have music. And the reason for that is quite simple. I like being stimulated. So, yesterday, I'm gonna apologize for the video. Again, I didn't mean everything I said. You know what? We have a good air day. A oh, fuck I had. A good air days are so rare. This is the bomb, dude. But 
Like I said, I, I was in a funk. And I felt so good to be vulnerable. Right? Mmm. Mm. Amazing. It felt so good to be vulnerable and have people say, hey, I appreciate you being vulnerable. I have back to the back. I have some reassurance because hey, there's a lot of trees. It takes a long time to, to, to eat. But at the end of the day, that reassurance is it's kinda crazy because of the power of relationship we have. Yes, I'm a guy behind the screen, and yes, I'm a guy on this video. You know my real name, but it doesn't matter that I'm real, I'm human. Reassurance, validation. Almost no sense. It always feels nice. Why? Well, for a very simplest reason. I'm gonna make a video about insecurity. Um, every single human, we have insecurities. insecurities. And yeah, it just feels really good. I want you guys to make an, to do an exercise. Like a piece of paper. Let's talk about your insecurities. No. That's next to DZ. I want you out DZ for that, because that's... I think this card give me the idea. Um, a lot of people are saying, why would I write my insecurity that's negative? Yes, but understanding why you're feeling that way, understanding what makes you feel that way, is the first step to fixing everything. Could everything be fixed? No. Well, I just do a whole list. You can solve a thing, two things. Wouldn't you be happy? Wouldn't you be proud? Yeah. Mm. Mm. This is a fucking bomb. I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself, it's just so good. Um, sorry for talking through my mouthful, but we're busy today. We're busy, bro. <sighs> you see... <sighs> if I make a video about my securities, my insecurities, I have to make a, vi a video about what uh, make me feel secure. You know, yesterday, and this is, again, I feel bad because it does seem a little bit like I'm going back on what I said. And I do mean everything I said yesterday, like I said so before, a couple of times in this video already. Um, but it's all a question of perception. Yesterday, I had no electricity. So, of course, you're hyper-focused. Um, today, I have music. I'm filming a video. I have light. I have a good meal. Pizza yesterday was amazing. Pizza was amazing. Cold pizza is yum-yum, right? But a home-cooked meal, warm home-cooked meal, somehow I top it off. If cold pizza is yum-yum, home-cooked meal is a yummy-yum. The yummy is important, right? And, um... I, if I'm talking about my insecurities, I have to talk about my insecurities. And it's kind of crazy because it's a question of perception. The different state of mind, the difference of reality. Just having electricity. And I understand that if I was to go outside, if I was to go camping, we wouldn't have to. We wouldn't have to. Uh, it would be the same situation, basically. The difference is when you go plant, camping, it's planned. You, you never plan to be alone with your thoughts. And sometimes, I don't know what you thought, it's a scary place. Other time, right now, it's amazing. Because my perception is different. I have people reassure me, I had validation. And although it does seem like I should be, and ultimately I am, but in, in life, you're going to be having a whole week, a whole week of things that went really well. You're going to have a whole week of things that really goes your way. Then you're going to have a couple hours where you're like, holy shit. 
that just hits, right? And it's not necessarily how it's it's how you feel, but it's how hard it how hard you feel when you realize. Like, for example, yesterday, um I I've I was hyper like I said I was hyper stimulated by the uh, videos by TikTok and by YouTube and I took a break and I have so many plans and I'm so behind um, and yesterday I had a uh, power outage and I was like okay this is your chance to do to get back and actually getting back on track it was harder than I thought right but. There's a, a pro to that. I had to take a napkin to, to blow my nose. I'll be right back. And there you go. Like like I said, um, it's also the fact that you're able to analyze. You're able to recognize that you're saying that you should be doing and you're not doing them. And ultimately, yes, you're not doing them. And that's on you. But ultimately, you're... You're... You're, <coughs> you're able to recognize that, hey... I'm behind schedule and I'm not doing shit. And to me, that's also important because being able to recognize that, yo, I'm working and I might not be working concretely, but I'm working here to say guilt is a powerful tool. Being able to say, yo, you should be working and you're not working. You should be working and you're not working. I want you guys to think about a school project that you have a deadline for. I don't have a deadline with content. I don't have a, content, a deadline. And... It's kind of funny because I was talking yesterday about two years and a half, three years, and it does show like a, a certain timeline. Like, I'm 30 years old, right? And when I said yesterday about the two hours and a two day, two years and a half and three years, it does seem like, okay, I have a timeline, but what is my deadline? Is it 50? Is it 60 years old? And then 30 years, right? And there's, there's two ways to see this. There's, oh, I got 30 years left, I can do whatever the fuck I want, or I got 30 years left, but every single year, or every single month, or every single week, your perception change, your ideal change, your, 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 your very concept change, like, as a kid, you believe Santa Claus was real, he's not, well, he's totally real, I'm not, I, no, forget, forget what I said, he's totally real, um, you, you believe in unicorn, oh, they're also real, fuck, no, unicorns aren't real, okay? I'm not breaking any kid's dream or heart by saying this. Um, ultimately, there's you, 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 you go on and believe that, oh, unicorns are real. And you realize that unicorns aren't real. And you can choose to have your heart broken by saying that something that you believe to exist doesn't exist. Or you can say, you know what? We have a horse. They might not have a horn, but they're still pretty fucking dope. You know, and that is the exact concept. You can say thirty years, and the beauty of it is, I guess what I was saying yesterday. Yes, I don't have a deadline. Yes, I'm my own boss. Well, of course, I have a job. I have a job, of course, but in here, I'm my own boss and I'm my own perception. And what I mean by deadline is, and that's a crazy concept. They say I'm gonna present you guys with a fucking uh, unbelievable concept. The perception I have now, the, the very idea of life I have now, will change. That's a fatality. I'll be, one day I'll be a fucking dad, and everything I'm thinking right now, everything that I think is of massive importance when I'm going to have that baby, is going to become a frivolous, going to become a plan B, because a plan A will be the baby, right? Will be to be a father. So what I mean by deadline over here, by two years and a half and three years, I do mean my mindset right now because the mindset right now that I have <coughs> it might be wrong I don't fucking know it might be right I don't fucking know what I do know is I have this right here right now and the beauty of it I believe a human being the best thing about being alive the best thing about being a human is how you improve you start from an unfinished product which is a baby and it's life is so fucking insane dude like Last week, my father texted me, and I, I did talk about this before. My father texted me some picture of when I was a baby. Those pictures I haven't seen in years. I can safely say I haven't seen those pictures in a decade. And I'm going to be honest with you. No matter how much a picture means to you, no matter how much a picture can signify or symbolize for you, after 10 years of not seeing that picture, you're going to forget it, which is totally normal. You don't have to feel bad about it. We're humans. 
But seeing that picture when I was a baby, I was like, who fucking knew that that baby, that baby ink, which, uh, <laughs> quite cute, you know? I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have cute babies, bro. I'm gonna have cute babies. Um, it, it's all the perception of, uh, that baby didn't know what life had in reserve for him. That baby was an unfinished product, of course. When, of course, we, you can say, oh, yeah, but it was finished. You have two arms, you have two eyes, you have a nose, a big nose. Uh-huh, thank you very much. Fucking douche. You have two legs. And I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that if you don't have, if you're missing a limb, may it be by birth defect or by, uh, an accident. I'm not saying you're incomplete. I'm saying... Uh, God or whatever up there or whatever power of evolution. I, it's hard because you don't know the the very concept of life, right? We know we we know. I know where I came from. I came from my parents. My parents know where, where they came from. They both come from their own parents, but ultimately we're looking back a thousand a million years, and we don't know the. There's a couple of possibility, but you don't know the exact truth. And I believe the exact truth. The craziest thing is I believe the exact truth. You, you want to ask me about religion? You want to ask me about the theory of evolution? I don't have answer. But I can guarantee you one thing. Somebody, I can guarantee you one thing. And that's a crazy fucking thing. Somebody had answer. Somebody wrote it on a book. And somebody else destroyed that book. There's so much knowledge we lost over the, the centuries. And it sucks. But that's not the point of the video. What I'm saying is, what I mean by develop isn't physically, it's mentally. That baby had no idea what life has in store for him. And to be honest, I'm 30 years later, and I still don't know what life has in store for us. And that's the beauty of being alive. That's the beauty of being a human. I was talking about with a soul uh, today about the eternal cycle and the system and the oppressive system. And the 9 to 5 slave uh, slavery, modern slavery. Modern slavery isn't monetary-wise. Modern slavery is time-wise. Oh, that's good. I should write it down. I should write it down. Fly me to the moon. Uh, Ren. Ren, which is a, a singer on YouTube, and she's using her... Uh, do I have a paper? Because that's a bit small. I do. I do, I do. I do, I do, I do, who, 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 who. I hate her friends and they hate me too. Um, modern slavery with two V's. <laughs> Got you. Modern slavery is based on a time resources. It's warm in the apartment, dude. I'm not even wearing pants. Oh, I am wearing pants, what am I saying? Resources and not on monetary. Right? That's a beautiful pen. Look at the writing. Not beautiful, but beautiful pen. Um, and again, this is another concept. Is This paper and this pen have no exact value. And that's a crazy fucking concept, too. This pen has a two three dollar value and this has a zero dollar value it's a piece of paper right and um but together they, they write down your mind and your mind has no value right uh value this is this is adhd and process value of pen paper versus notes and you see this is the way ADHD work because, again, I'm having ID when I'm talking about something. It's not related to the subject in question, uh, but it's still a good concept. So what am I saying is, or this is the, the pro, this is Vars, Oops. which is fermented lettuce. Georgia, you're a genius. And it's all about the concept of um, yeah, understanding what life has. We're talking about a system, we're talking about a, a cognitive system where our time, our resources are very limited. And we still have the possibility to evolve as a human being. And evolving as a human being is based on the very concept of understanding your insecurities and building them up. Except, I've been doing this for two, three years. And ultimately, 
the idea behind the the the, the problem with doing this for two three years is understanding that the concept of what I'm thinking right now, which is flawed, which will change. I'm gonna capture it. Evolution. I was talking about a gut before. Okay. The very idea of religion, the very idea of um, what it means to be religious or to be virtuous or to be um, a pious person is changing. You know? And there's another crazy concept I'm going to present here. I'm just going to talk about insecurity. Now, the ink. The 40 years old ink is a simple, very simple step away from the ink at 30 years old. The ink at 30 years old as opinion A, B, and C. Right? The ink at 40 years old understand that A, B, and C are different. It's becoming D, E, and F. But the very idea of D, E, and F be came from the A, B, and C. Right? So understanding where I come from is also important because once you're evolved, once the con the very concept <coughs> <coughs> when the very concept that sounded were the foundation of the concept you're now understanding, or your understanding of life now, your mind changed and you, you, you have a hard time remembering where does that idea come from? And maybe that's from the fact of being ADHD. Maybe. But you know, those insecurities are that I want to capture this mentality. I want to capture this perception. Those insecurities are me being able to to evolve. This is the first thing I'm going to evolve. For example, I want to lose weight. Well, a lot of people, they would say, oh, um, losing weight is simple. Diet. Well, taking key, yes. And generally, I'm not eating portion like this. But it's not a fatality, it's not a absolute. For some people, it's dieting. For some other people, it's working hard, putting hours at the gym. And why? Because when you're putting time at the gym, When you realize that everything I've been saying for the last 20 minutes doesn't make any fucking sense, but what I'm about to say it makes it all make sense. It's crazy. The, the very concept of going to the gym won't make you lose weight. Fuck. Okay. Mm. You can still choose to eat like shit. Now... What does change is super simple. What does change is understanding the value of time and the value of the limited time you have. For example, you're working in nine to five. You have to take care of your kids. You have to sleep. You have to do the dishes. You have to you have to cook, and you realize that the only time you have free out of a day is a couple hours, and you decide to say, you know what, I have three hours free a day. I'm still gonna spend an hour in the gym. And that is very dangerous. That is extremely dangerous because now the idea of losing weight is no longer the idea of is no longer no longer an idea of diet and going to the gym. It's an idea of time investment. I'm investing X percentage of time that I have a day going to the gym. And it is easy to get out. And what I can bring you back is 
the same security. Those in security are making sure that you stay on track. Plan four has to work. Those set insecurities are making sure that you have a purpose. The purpose mm, insecurity equal purpose. Those are insecurity, right? Taking notes. Taking notes. I have to not forget. I have pages of notes, so don't worry about it. I think those insecurity give you purpose is the best thing you can have. Purpose is fundamentally the most important thing you have. The the why is purpose so important? Because every single day, I don't care who you are, I know for a fact that you're asking yourself why. I don't know the why is for what. I don't know the reason you're asking why. But I know some of the answers to a majority of those whys are purpose. Why am I doing this? Why is this happening? There's a purpose to it. A breakup. A breakup. You're going to break up with a girl that you love or a dude that you love. I don't give a shit. And the reason for that, you're going to ask yourself why they break up. Well, in the grand scheme of thing, it's a purpose. In the grand scheme of thing, they broke up because it was part of a predestination or a, a, a part of a written uh, fate. So the very concept of everything that happens for a reason, those insecurity I talked about yesterday, I understand that they're, uh, sorry, I'm putting for a reason. And the video yesterday is everything is a fucking big why. You know, and... Those, those, the, the very idea, the very perception of um, why it is happening is super important. So, so, I believe, I personally believe that everything that happened is written for a reason. The reason why I'm the way I am is because I have a purpose. The reason everything that happened to me happened is because I have a purpose. The reason I'm born. So, if you don't believe me, and I know this is a crazy concept, and again, I'm not talking about in absolute, I may be wrong, the ID came from a 30 years old ink. The 40 years old ink might say, that was bullshit. But the today, 30 years old believes in this. You're going to tell me that every single parents I could have had, I had it who I had. You're going to tell me anywhere from the world I was born in this small town. You're going to tell me everything. Ah. You're going to tell me the people... I grew up with the friends I have, the people that were watching this, this very thing, are all part of the luck. The al oh my god, the algorithm is a, a result of that. The algorithm is what product are we pushing, and the product we're pushing is ultimately based on monetary, on capitalistic views. But uh, those capitalistic views, I, I can be honest, you know, I could be. Oh my god. It's a hard thing to say, and I'm not trying to offend anybody, but I could be. The, the, I don't have a lot of people, right? Yesterday I was talking about not, not, not having a lot of friends, and it's not true, because the people that came in to, to, to reassure me are friends. And ultimately, when I make a video, I don't believe in, when I make a video, and this is crazy concept, but um, I don't believe in quality over quantity, because... I understand that not every single fucking video I'm going to make is a masterpiece. And that's okay. I understand that not every single video I'm going to make is going to amount to anything at all. I'm not saying that, yo, every single video is a bigger purpose. Every single video is going to serve a older than thou um, concept. No, I'm saying that every single video might be a masterpiece or might be something I regret making. But the simple idea that I'm making this. And when it comes to, when it comes to the... Um, when it comes to the viewer, the, the, the people I have in my life, I, I'm, fact, I'm saying viewer, but at this point, the people I'm referring to are friends. I'm again talking about DZ, I'm talking about souls, right? They're friends. And um, those people are coming into my life as a positive force. And that positive force is super important because I could be like, oh, I wish I had more viewer. But in the reality, how many people actually give a shit is more important than how many people don't give a shit. Because you can have a hundred people don't give a shit. The, the what's important is the two people that come in and say, hey, what's up, dude? You know? And, of course, I'm, I'm talking about a concept of... Oh, a concept of... 
I'm, I'm, I'm basing this out of concept of exchange. So people talking to you in a positive fashion. And the reality is, is it's stupid just to think that you're going to have positive people in your life. But the fact that you do have positive people in your life is amazing. I might not have a totality of positivity, but I have a positivity and I have to focus on that. The insecurity yesterday was, am I going to make it? But it was wrong. It was wrong because it's not, well, am I going to make it? Is, am I enjoying what I'm doing right now? Am I? It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't... Like I said, this is a dream. This is a... This is a higher than myself. This is a greater purpose. This is time of sacrifices. And I do sacrifice a lot of time for this. And ultimately, I, I agree that... I, and this is not... This is not a question. This is a... a mea culpa, this is, sorry, I do believe that in the last couple of months, even months, I should have been streaming more, I should have been creating more content, but I understand that I haven't been putting enough effort in, and after that, I'm saying, why is my dream not working? It comes from me, and um, yesterday, I, I, I did a, I, I, I made a video yesterday, yes, for insecurities, but I made a video yesterday also for, um, I made a video yesterday also to, 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 to promise a commitment from me. And that commitment ultimately is from a fact of not necessarily succeeding, but implying that I'm going to do more. And <coughs> it's crazy because it's nuts. I, we're coming from a concept of I work, I make money. I put in X amount of hours, I make money. But we're also putting in a concept of I have this dream. I might not make money, but having this dream. And I always thought, and this is completely my fault. This is a wrong, wrong state of mind. And I agree with that. I understand that it's a wrong state of mind. But this is ultimately me being honest. I've always, I've been to bars. I've been to, to, to parties. But I, I, I saw people that were going to parties every week and were having a, were having like, oh, sleepovers or whatever. And I was like, what's the point? Because you ultimately, this is time you're, 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 you're using that you could be using for over time. You could be using for something else. For example, um, even at work, I, I, uh, and this is not a new, this is not a new concept. So evolution, this is what we're talking. This is a good idea for evolution. So evolution is where we're talking about how, um, I'm just talking about sleepover and parties, and now I'm talking about, last week I've talked about how people, I'm going to get in trouble because I'm on my phone, I'm actually working on YouTube via some people that are wasting their time, and it's their choice, it's their time, and ultimately, wasting their time, and those parties, those sleepover, build a person, it's not building a purpose with concrete, it's building a person with experiences, I'll go to the bathroom, I'll be right back, Whew, and we're back, I'm oh, sorry, the beautiful hair due to the shower are gone. Uh, so yes, we were talking about how um, the experience of people are as important. You see, when I'm making a video, it, it's fun because making a ugh, making a video gave me the excuses to talk along. And talking along is putting your concept to the test. I was talking about it last week about. Make a video and how it might show what you're doing wrong or that observation, right? But it is when I'm making a video, it's a mm. putting my thoughts to the test and putting the idea I have up against other idea, how in evolution, how I'm gonna start to video with an ID and 24 minutes later I'm gonna have another ID right? and all of this is again the idea of evolution having again I'm talking via my own perception if you feel different that's totally fine no way about it but I'm basing myself on the concept that I got a UG. Maybe I think differently. But what if the for me I, I, at least I'm 
what I'm thinking, I'm not going to question what I'm thinking. But when I'm, when I'm saying something, and also the ID, oh shit, messy, the ID of, I'm saying something in a video I'm going to post. And I understand the, the impact that I can have. Right now, I don't have a lot of impact, but what if one day I make it and I say something horrible, something truly horrible, like, oh, I don't know, fuck a, fuck a profession. Hmm? And people, ultimately, I become this this notoriety people, start listening, I get an influx of viewer, and ultimately, again, we're talking, we're talking, I'm repeating myself so much, but what I'm talking about right now is so fucking important, it's really important, it's evolution, I can say fuck a profession today, and then 20 years, I'd be like, I, I was wrong, I was wrong, but this, on the internet, I can delete the video, right? But if I delete the video, automatically deleting a video because you said something is not taking accountability for what you said. And accountability plays a big part in everyday life, right? Is the we were talking about how insecurity is a, a reason for purpose. And accountability is also a reason for purpose. Mm. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Like I was saying, um, the idea that something that I, I say today in 20 years might be viewed by certain people and understand that this is a this is a time concept. This is something that that maybe in 2023 made sense, but in 44 won't. Um, and I understand that what I'm saying might have an impact one day. And um, I was talking about I was I was watching a a short with Andrew Tate. You can like the guy, you can dislike the guy. That's your opinion. But he said some things. And he's, he actually came out and said, dude, if I knew I'm going to say it was going to be viewed by a million people, I would have not said it. When I said those things, I was watched by a couple hundred people. And I had no impact. And now that I said the impact of the person I've become, right? I understand that those that were not correct. And ultimately, I understand that right now this is the case. Um, I can become uh, somebody that people are really going to listen to. And if they are, well, I want to make sure that today what I'm saying makes sense. Now, I'm not saying that what I'm saying, ugh, I'm not saying that what I'm saying, very good English, Inky. I'm not saying that everything I'm saying right now is flawed and absolute. And I, I'm planning everything I'm going to say. And I'm, I'm, I have a very specific idea when I come to make a video. The truth is, not 95% of the time. 100% of the time, when I make a video, I have a general idea of what I'm going to talk about. For example, when I came in today, I was going to talk about... <laughs> I was going to talk about my childhood again for part three. And then I made the video yesterday about my insecurities, and I saw people's reaction to it. And I was like, holy shit. I made some people cry. I made I made a person. I know for a fact I made some somebody cry. And um, I kind of feel bad about it. Um, and... So when I came in, I was like, okay, I'm going to talk about my insecurities. And I'm going to kind of rectify the, the, the shot. Uh, and I'm going to make sure that people understand that, yes, I meant what I, 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 meant what I said, but it's not a fatality. It's not an absolute. And um, so I had a general idea that I knew I was going to talk about fucking Andrew Tate. No. That I knew I was going to talk about God. No. Was, you, you see, so whenever I'm planning something, uh, I'm, I'm not actually... Uh, Whenever I make a video, I'm not. I actually didn't plan everything I'm going to talk about. Uh, what I did plan is to to make a video uh, and ultimately to make ideas. So now I'm full, right? I'm full. Uh, I'm completely full. We didn't eat enough. Um, but I'm full. So um, I'm going to stop the video here. I have a lot of things to do, but know that I love you. That you matter. That you're a very important person. No matter what you are, who you are, where you are, or what you're doing. We're all important because we represent our own universe. By representing our own universe, we represent how we can affect others. My action, my perception, my reaction. All of those are important. So yes, to finish on a positive note, that's always the goal. The video I made on my security yesterday, right? Or yes, something I believed. But I did, I did mention, and again, it does seem like I'm, I'm fucking going back on what I said and saying, hey, I didn't mean this. It's not true. I didn't mean this. But I did say in the video that 
I was wanting to make a commitment to be more proactive, to, to actually do more. And yes, I was talking about my insecurities, but ultimately my insecurities are the bigger benefit. They have a bigger benefit because yesterday felt like shit. Today, I understood that making me feel like shit. Yesterday, I felt like shit. But today, I understand that the reason, the, the fact that I was feeling like shit yesterday means I have to change shit. I have to change things because ultimately, I don't want to feel like shit tomorrow. I don't want to feel like shit in a week. So uh, now that I'm feeling better, I have the opportunity to have a purpose, to know where I need to focus my effort. And by focusing my effort, the sky is the limit. Mars is the limit. Love you guys. Because easy. Peace. When I do a piece, I feel like a douche.